Isaiah Washington has dropped some bombshell allegations involving Grey's Anatomy star Ellen Pompeo, revealing she was paid $5 million to keep quiet about the toxic behavior from former co-star Patrick Dempsey. Uh, what, what happened on, on Grey's Anatomy? I mean, you, you could not have been bigger. You could not have been hotter. Uh, your character was central to the series. Uh, what happened? Isaiah also alleges that Patrick had a racist streak and no one wanted him on the show. But he liked me. And once I had a conversation with him, he said, I said, do you know the white men are the masters of the universe? And I said, you really believe that? He says, absolutely. Actor Isaiah Washington, best known for playing Dr. Preston Burke for three seasons on Grey's Anatomy, recently announced his retirement from acting, and his reasons will shock you to the bones. It is with a heavy heart and a sense of relief that I am announcing my early retirement from the entertainment industry today, Washington tweeted in March this year. While he admits a few reasons made him throw in the towel altogether, he cited the ongoing criticism of his Grey's character as the final straw. Those who have been following, witnessing my journey, since 2011 all know that I have fought the good fight, but it seems that the haters, provocateurs, and the useful idiots have won," he wrote to his nearly 200,000 followers. I'm no longer interested in the back and forth regarding a color construct that keeps us human beings divided, nor am I interested in politics or anything vitriolic. In the meantime, Washington said he'll be traveling this great country before it falls into socialism and then communism. I am truly grateful for your support over the years," he added. Washington is not the first black actor to complain about being treated badly in Hollywood. Some of the biggest names, including Dave Chappelle, Samuel L. Jackson, Monique, and even award-winning Denzel Washington, have all laid out their cries before. The true crime star said his project Corsicana, where he played the role of Bass Reeves, was his final on-screen venture, but assured fans he'll keep them updated on his retirement shenanigans here and there. Washington was axed from Grey's Anatomy before the series' fourth season for allegedly using a homophobic slur against co-star T.R. Knight, both on set and at the 2007 Golden Globe Awards. While he initially denied ever using the slur at first, he later said it happened in the heat of the moment and followed up with an apology. I can neither defend nor explain my behavior, he said in a statement at the time. I can also no longer deny to myself that there are issues I obviously need to examine within my own soul, and I've asked for help. After being let go from the show, he said, I did everything that the producers and the network asked me to do. I came back under great stress and thought I was doing the job I was hired to do. I thought that was going to speak for my future at Grey's, but apparently that wasn't the same vision that the network and studio had for me. He was later asked to make a final appearance during the show's 10th season. Back in 2020, Washington slammed his former Grey's Anatomy co-star, Katherine Heigl, almost 13 years after he was fired from the ABC series. The Pea Valley actor called out Heigl on Twitter for saying he should never be allowed to speak publicly again. This woman once proclaimed that I should never be allowed to speak publicly again. The world agreed with her proclamation back then and protested for my job and my head in 65 languages," wrote Washington alongside a photo of Heigl. I wish I was on Twitter in 2007 because I will never stop exercising my free speech. I've learned that all money ain't good money and no amount of money can replace your dignity and integrity. Some call it living by your principles," he added in another tweet. Of Washington's recent comments, a source close to Heigl says, Catherine stood up for her close friend twice when Isaiah publicly outed him and called him a f t that's hate talk, not free speech. She is proud that she stood up for him. Catherine is and always will be an advocate and ally to the LGBTQ community. At the Golden Globes press room in 2007 when Washington was asked about the alleged onset incident between himself and Knight, he said, no, I did not call Tiara F. T. Never happened. Never happened. He later apologized for using the slur in the awards show press room. Heigl, who was close friends with Knight, criticized Washington's statement at the time. I'm going to be really honest right now, he needs to just not speak in public. Period, she told Access Hollywood. I'm sorry, that did not need to be said. I'm not okay with it. I just feel like this is something that should be very much in-house we need to deal with, she added. TR is my best friend. I will throw down for that kid. After the press room comments at the time, Washington continued to address questions about the alleged onset incident, telling Access, there is no way I could do anything so vile and so horrible, not only to a castmate, but to a fellow human being. 
The actor returned to Grey's in 2014 for one episode to send off Sandra Oh's character Christina Yang, whom Burke left at the altar years prior. It's important to me that Christina's journey unfolds exactly as it should, creator Shonda Rhimes said at the time about the decision. Burke is vital to that journey. He gives her story that full circle moment, we need to properly say goodbye to our beloved Christina Yang. Washington aside, towards the end of 2020, Patrick Dempsey also made a shocking return to the show in Meredith Grey's Dream. Since leaving Grey's in 2015, the actor later revealed that the show's dynamic behind the camera had changed. I think you can never really judge an actor on set because depending on the dynamic of the scene, you are asked to plug into an emotion. It was really exciting and fun, and it was great to see everybody, said Dempsey. The dynamic behind the camera had changed. There's much more diversity within the crew. There was a nice balance, too, of equality that I was seeing. So culturally, there was a lot of things that were different, that I thought were very positive and very inspiring, actually. Gray's lead actress Ellen Pompeo previously alluded to a toxic work environment in early seasons of the show, saying in a conversation with Variety that she wanted to leave the show over the behavior. The first 10 years we had serious culture issues, very bad behavior, and a really toxic work environment, she said at the time. It became my goal to have an experience there that I could be happy and proud about because we had so much turmoil for 10 years, Pompeo added. My mission became, this can't be fantastic to the public and a disaster behind the scenes. Washington, before deciding to an early retirement, tried to expose just how the Grey's Anatomy cast was somewhat biased. I said, I don't need Ellen, I can act, he said on Larry King Live at the time, referring to Ellen Pompeo. And that was the moment that sent it into a different zone. Dempsey became unhinged, sprayed spittle in my face. I said several bad words. There's no way you're going to treat me like the B word, the P word, or the F word. I am not homophobic in no way, shape, or form. For his part, T.R. Knight left Grey's Anatomy after season five and alleged that creator Shonda Rhimes was concerned about him coming out so close to the drama with Washington. Rhimes denied his claims at the time. I said, if you want to come out, that's awesome. We'll totally support that. And then he went away, thought about it, and came back and said, I'm going to make this statement. I remember saying to executive producer Betsy Beers, this is our proudest day here. T.R. got to come out. And I got to say to him that it wouldn't affect his character because he was concerned that he was going to come out and George would suddenly be gay, she told Entertainment Weekly. I was like, we are not going to do that. The idea that a gay actor can't play a straight man is insulting. Then several months after Knight's departure, Heigl left Grey's Anatomy during season six in 2010. While Knight, whose character died and Heigl have yet to return, Washington is the one who made a surprising comeback in 2014. But with all those people leaving the show, does that signal some red flags behind the scenes? My first decision and my first responsibility is to the story. I have to be the keeper of the story and make sure that we're telling the story we need to tell, regardless of whatever outside factors are involved or whatever history is involved. And frankly, Sandra was so lovely and open to it. It has been a really kind of amazing experience, right? told EW about the decision. The former showrunner added, I also want to just be clear that Isaiah is a person that we all love and have loved for a very long time. I feel like there have been a lot of people that have been like, how can you do this? And I feel very strongly and fully believe in people's ability to grow and change and learn from their mistakes and when they know better, to do better. If people don't think that over the course of seven years, it's possible for a human being to change, then there really is no future for the human race at all. In October 2021, Washington opened up about his time on Grey's Anatomy and his experiences on set. Speaking during an appearance on KBLA Talk 1580, the actor accused the show's executives of using him as a cover-up for other issues happening on the set. In the interview, Washington alleged that Patrick Dempsey, who plays lead character Derek McDreamy Shepard on the show, was not as likable as portrayed to be. He was not a nice guy from day one, but he liked me, and once I had a conversation with him, he said, Isaiah, do you know that white men are the masters of the universe? And I said, you really believe that? And he said, absolutely, Washington recounted.
Even more so, Dempsey's alleged bad behavior on set got him into trouble with some other cast members, including Ellen Pompeo, who served as his on-screen love interest. However, according to Washington, Pompeo received $5 million in hush money to keep mum about her unpleasant experiences with Dempsey. I didn't know that the homophobic accusation would stick to me so hard, but I found out why, he explained. It was an agenda to cover up for the toxic and bad behavior of many of my former castmates on that show, and the top of that would be Patrick Dempsey. In a string of tweets shared back in May 2023, Washington raised new claims about Gray's anatomy and his former teammates. Hmm, I wonder if I should tweet about the rampant alcohol and drugs used amongst my fellow castmates and producers of Gray's anatomy and all of the swingers parties that took place. Washington tweeted alongside a picture of himself from the show. I remained clean for three years and declined the after hours hot tub invites because I was convinced that I would lose my contract with a urine analysis at any moment and lose my dear wife if I got in that woman's hot tub. I wonder. In a follow-up tweet, Washington recounted a conversation with show producer Rob Korn, claiming, I wonder if I should post about how producer Rob Korn told me that he had to break into the apartment to wake up one of my former castmates because he would get so drunk that he couldn't get to the set of Grey's Anatomy. Allegedly, this happened multiple times. I was never late to work. Never. Washington wrote in the tweet, Even the netizens are wondering when this drama will end, with one tweeting, Isaiah Washington versus Gray's anatomy is a never-ending battle lol. Washington clearly still has a lot of reservations about his time on Gray's anatomy. But the big question remains, who is really telling the truth? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.